The babe took a vicious swing at the third pitch ball, and the bat connected with a crash that was audible in all parts of the stand. While the crowd cheered and the Yankee players roared their greeting, the babe made his triumphant, almost regal tour of the paths. And when he embedded his spikes in the rubber disc to officially Homer 60, hats were tossed in the air, papers were torn up and tossed liberally, and the spirit of celebration permeated the place. Sixty, count him, sixty, Ruth shouted in the locker room. Let's see some other son of a bitch match that. I welcome this video today. We've been getting some advice from legendary trader Bill Eckhart and legendary baseball player Babe Ruth. And it's all to do with trading signals and your, your ratio of winners to losers. And I've started off with Babe Ruth. Um, there he's hitting one of his famous home runs, the most famous one. And he was known for his home runs. If you look at his history, though, his batting or strike rate was, uh, I think, 3.62. And he spent about 70% of his time trudging back to the dugout. Now, he wasn't interested in basically striking every ball. He once said I could hit 600 of those dinky singles. He was interested in getting those big home runs. And, you know, someone said, you know, how do you cope uh, when you're having a bad phase to him? He goes, I just go out there and I keep on swinging. Now... Babe Ruth is probably the most famous baseball player of all time. And, you know, he was wildly successful. And, you know, people actually, you know, who come into Forex should, should think about Babe Ruth because Babe Ruth didn't spend all his time hitting home runs. He spent a lot of time not doing so. And Forex traders um, have an obsession, or many of them do, when they come in the market with maximising the number of winning trades over the number of losing trades. And as legendary trader Bill Eckhart said, this works against them and makes them lose and actually is one of the least important factors in long term trading performance. Now, Bill Eckhart taught the turtles with Richard Dennis. They made hundreds of millions of dollars and they only won 30 percent of the time. So probably a bit similar to Babe Ruth's average, but they made a huge amount of money. If you look around online, though, you have an obsession on the net with traders hunting out trading systems that have a high degree of trade accuracy. So you see a lot of systems, so I would say 80 or 90 percent trade accuracy or winning trades. Um, they're all, of course, lying. Um, you know, the, the, the great traders will probably only win, you know, between 30 and 50 percent of the time. It's the difference between you, you know, the profit on your winning trades and the, the profits on your, uh, sorry, the losses on your losing trades is important. So, you know, if you've got a 30% win rate and your profits are really big and cover your losses, that's all that matters. And, and George Soros once said, it doesn't matter how many times you're right, it's how much you win when you're right against how much you lose when you're wrong. And it's perfectly true. So if you're coming into Forex trading, I think you've got to be you know, realistic and, and understand that you are going to be losing, you know, um, a lot of the time, probably the majority of your trades. But it really, really doesn't matter at all. It's the difference between those profits and losses. Your novice trader who comes in very often, um, you know, when he gets a loss, will let it run. OK, and hope it turns around. And obviously that leads to disaster. And when he's got a profit, he's so pleased to have a profit, he just wants to take it. There is an old saying, you never go broke, um, you know, taking profits, but it's absolutely ridiculous. If you don't have your profits cover your losses, you are going to lose long term. So, yeah, when you come into Forex trading, yeah, if you've got a hit rate of about 50 percent, that's very, very good. All you've got to focus on is those losses. You've just got to keep them small. And when you've got a profit, you need to make sure that you can run that profit uh, for all it's worth and not bank it early. Unless your chart tells you to bank it, um, you should be holding that profit to cover your losses. Now, if you take, um, you know, taking losses, you know, a lot of traders just can't take it. You know, they feel stupid. Um, they think it's a failure of, of their strategy. 
but it's not. Any strategy is, is going to lose money um, for periods of time. It's just the way it is. But if you can stick to your trading plan uh, and basically trade with discipline, you know, keeping those losses small and running those profits or home runs, um, then you can make a lot of money over time. So, you know, my point of this video really is, you know, do not believe anyone who tells you about, you know, you can win with 80 or 90 percent of your trades. You're going to lose you know, at least half of them. Um, it doesn't matter. You know, if you can stick to your trading plan with discipline, keep those losses small uh, and, and you know, really maximize your gains, you'll make a big long term profit. Uh, yeah, Forex trading is not about looking clever. Um, you know, it's about making money and the way to make money is, you know, basically to focus on getting those profits bigger than those losses. So I think, you know, if you focus on that and, you know, forget about, you know, trying to win 80 or 90 percent of your trades, it's not possible. Um, you can make a lot of money. And does it matter that you lose? Not really. Just take a look at Babe Ruth. Um, you know, he made himself wildly successful and, you know, that's what it's all about long term and you know just keep those points in mind um you know just maximize those profits and don't be afraid to take your losses and you'll do just fine at forex trading thank you very much for watching me take care and have a good day